Hey, this is Jake with The Verge. We're here with macOS Mojave. This is the new version of macOS. It's gonna be available this fall, but if you're interested, it just came out in public beta, and so you can try it out if you want. We're gonna take a look at some of the big features and some of our favorites. The first thing, and probably the most noticeable, is that there's now a dark mode. Dark mode has been a long requested feature for macOS and probably every operating system and app forever, and now it's finally available. It's gonna ask you right when you start up Mojave if you wanna do light mode or dark mode, and it's basically just gonna turn the chrome around all of your apps into this you know, black or dark gray color. It's kind of messing with me right now because I'm not used to it, but I'm sure that there are a lot of people out there who are gonna like it. Now, the big deal about Mojave is a lot more technical and in-depth, and that is that iOS apps are coming to the Mac. So before, if an iOS app was coming to the Mac, it had to be basically recoded from scratch. Next year, Apple's gonna start letting developers take their iOS apps, kind of tweak some of the code, and put it on Mac OS. Now, third-party developers can't do that yet, but Apple is showing us what it's gonna look like with four apps to start, and one of those is Apple News. So you can see right here on the left side, you have this big column that's really not like anything on Mac OS already. And then on the main pane, you have something that basically looks like an iPhone app. And you can click in, you get to swipe between stories. There are the normal iOS buttons at the top left and top right to go back and forward. Honestly, things even look a little bit touchable. And a lot of the iconography from iOS comes over here as well. It's not clear if this is how things are gonna stay forever, if Apple will make these a little bit more Mac-like, or if we're just gonna kinda get used to that sort of hybrid app. Apple also brought over voice memos and stocks. Voice memos is pretty basic, but it's nice to have here. Stocks looks a lot like Apple News. We have that bar on the left and all these news items in the middle that, again, you swipe between and you have those iOS icons on the top. It's definitely a little bit weird, but this is pretty important because it's a first look of what this new generation of apps is gonna look like. Obviously, a lot can still change. This is very, very early, and we don't know if Apple is going to make things look a little bit more like Mac OS, but my suspicion is that we might wanna get used to this style. And the reason I say that is because the next thing I wanna show is the App Store redesign. So the App Store has been redesigned to look a lot more like the iOS App Store. But what's interesting is this is a Mac app. Apple hasn't really dramatically changed things here. It just brought in a lot of its editorial content. There's now a lot more banners and there's just a lot more to read and do. I don't think it's really gonna dramatically change things, but the Mac App Store has kind of languished for a while and it's nice to see Apple starting to revitalize it a little bit. And I think we're probably gonna see a lot more of that when these hybrid apps start to flood that store. So this is the really big things, but there's also a bunch of smaller tweaks all over the OS that are gonna help you just use Mac OS. And one of the really nice ones is right on the desktop. So if you're a person who normally has a messy desktop that looks like this, you can now just use a feature called Stacks, which is gonna automatically sort them into groups based on what they are. So there's one for PDFs, one for images, one for documents. You just click on them and they're going to pop open and show you everything that's inside them. You just close them again and now everything is nice and tidy. This ties right into another feature that I really like in Mojave and that is updates to Quick Look, which is the feature that lets you just hit the space bar to preview a file. So now you can just hit the space bar and instead of just looking at the file, you can actually interact with it. So if it's an image, I can rotate it or I can jump in and start annotating it. You can do that in PDFs too, which is pretty handy. That feature is also available in the Finder in a new view mode. So if you remember Coverflow, which was that option that started in iTunes as a way to view album art and then made us with a Finder and then I don't think anyone ever used it, Apple now has a basically a more useful version of that called Gallery. It shows one thing at a time, but it also shows information about that item beside it. So you can see the metadata and you have some options to interact with it. I think this is gonna make more sense for some workflows than for others, but it's a nice option to have and it's always good to see Apple paying attention to the finder. The final thing I wanna show you is in Safari. Now the really big thing here is that Apple has added some privacy updates to stop social media sites like Facebook from tracking you all across the web. Now I can't really show you that, but what I can show you is, you know what, what I'm going to say is even more important, and that is that you can now add favicons to tabs in Safari. So before it looked like this, where it just had the name of the website, 
Now you can check this box and boom, you have those icons. And when you have a ton of tabs open, this is just gonna make it way easier to read. I don't know how this wasn't available before. This is an immense upgrade and probably the main reason to install Mojave. Um, that, that's maybe pushing a little bit. Okay, another neat thing in Mojave is a new screenshot interface. You can now hit Command Shift 5 and it's gonna give you all these different options for how you wanna capture your screen. You can even start screen recording, which you can see we're doing right now. And one nice thing about the screenshot is, once you take it, it's gonna appear right in the corner of the screen like it does on the iPad, so you can click it, go right in, start marking things up just like you would in Quick Look. So those are the big features in Mojave. There's a lot more here. You can try it all out if you want by installing the public beta. I will warn you, this is an early beta. Things are still a little buggy and broken, especially those transported iOS apps. But if you want to wait for it, it'll all be available this fall. One other nice change is an update to the screenshot tool. So you now hit Command Shift 5 and it gives you, oh no, the screen recording crashed.